Hey guys, this is Gio from Smart Home Maker. Welcome to another video. So if you're working from home like I am, I bet you don't like to be disturbed when you're on a video call, especially an important one. But how do you actually let your family know that you're on a call? Today I'm going to show you a cool automation that you can actually do to solve your problem and you can do this yourself. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be turning on this light red and also sending a notification on people's phone when I'm on a video call. How do we do that? You do that thanks to Home Assistant. Home Assistant is my home automation platform of choice. It's not magic, but it's really, really cool. So what's Home Assistant? So if you're new to Home Assistant and you want to get up and running as soon as possible, I've got a free course, link in the description below. Now there are a couple of ways of actually solving this. We could use a calendar, for example. So we could look at our calendar and then assume that if we're in a meeting, then we're busy. But what happens when you're actually taking a video call that wasn't scheduled, it might be an urgent issue, it might be your boss or your manager calling you. You do not want to be disturbed at that time. So really, that's not an option for me. You can also solve this problem with a button. What happens if you actually forget to press that button just before that meeting? No, that's not gonna work. That doesn't feel like home automation. The two things that we know for sure that are in use when we're in a video call are our webcam and microphone. Step one or step zero, get Home Assistant. Step two, we need to install the Home Assistant app on your Mac or on your PC. I've got a Mac here, so I'm going to the App Store and I'm searching for Home Assistant. Once I've found Home Assistant, you will download it and open it. In that way, your actual computer's webcam and microphone details will be imported into Home Assistant. And don't worry, Home Assistant is actually not looking at you or listening to you, but it actually knows the camera or microphone is in function. You're going to need to find the name of the entity in Home Assistant. To do that, go to the developers tool and search for, for example, I'm searching for Mac and that way I'm going to find the details that I need. Take note of these entities because you will need them in the automation. Now from the home screen, go to configurations, automations, click add automation, start with an empty automation, now let's give this automation a name, for example, working from home automation or geos on a video call, whatever you want. Now down in the trigger, trigger type state, look for the your binary sensor, in my example, my binary sensor smart iMac camera in use. Now select from off to on. Now scroll down and go to your actions, click call service, Type in light, so you'll have light.turn underscore on, and find the light that you want to turn on. In my example, I'm using this hue play. So find that, and in the service data, you can add in color underscore name, and then put red. Now you can save this and give this a go. If you're getting value out of this video and want more people to see this video, then give this a like. If you yourself want to actually see more content like this from my own channel, then consider subscribing to the channel. Now, at this stage, your light should have turned red. If so, good. Let's move on. Now we're going to add in a notification. Click Add Action. And action type, Call Service. I'm going to use a Notify. I'm going to use, in this example, my iMac, just to, for the purpose of the video. But you can use any smartphone that has Home Assistant installed on it. Put a message that you want to appear in the notification, for example here, and just save that and execute it. And boom, there you have it. We've got the notification, we're all good, but we're not done yet. So now we're gonna add another trigger. So add trigger, and we're gonna add in the microphone. Search again for Mac, and you're gonna find that microphone. Click on that microphone. Once we've selected it, we're gonna go into the from, and we're gonna set off, and we're gonna set the two to on, and we're gonna save that. Now, we want to visually see if we are working or not. So if someone's missed a notification, they can go back to our assistant dashboard and actually find out if I'm busy or not. How do we do that? Go into the configuration tab, and let's look for the helpers. Click add helper, click toggle, give your helper a name, for example, working from home. You can add that little briefcase icon, but this is optional. So I've already created one previously, and I'm going to use it right now in my automation. So I'm gonna add an action, and I'm going to go to the call service, 
and I'm going to look for the input boolean, so type in input and you should find input boolean dot turn on and we have the list of booleans, in my example I'm using the geos working and then we just save that and just to demonstrate here that it's all working I'm going to turn it off now at this stage so you can see it's off and now I'm going to go back up to the automation and I'm going to execute it and we should see it all turning on now got it on and we've also got the notification so that worked really well and the lights obviously turned red so the reason why we're using this boolean is also to prevent us from having a double notification because we're using microphone and we're using camera at the same time that could cause a double notification that could get slightly annoying so what we can do is we can go to the conditions and add a condition actually say that if the status is off then we're going to trigger this automation. But obviously, if it's on, that means that we're already in a working from home mode, then we're not going to actually turn it on again. Once that's done, you can save it, you can execute it, and you can test the whole thing again. Now remember, when you're executing from here, you're actually skipping the condition, and you're just executing the action. So now I'm going to show a nice movie image of myself here, and you can see, Nothing's happening, no notification, nothing. I've got my camera, I've got my microphone, obviously I muted it for the video, but nothing's coming through. I've got a bonus for you. If you actually want to know how to reverse this, so how to turn it off, so how to send a notification to actually tell people that you're now free, if you want to do that, you can visit my blog at leonardosmarthomemakers.com slash blog. And you'll find in there the article and I'm gonna put the code in there to act, and you can copy and paste the code and adapt it obviously to your needs. But that should give you, get you going with actually turning it off. Future enhancements, you can actually add working hours in here or your working schedule. So this actually only works in certain time. It's really up to you how you want to actually do it. You can disable also automations at certain times if you don't want this to work at all if you feel that this does, you don't need it anymore. For example, we stop working from home or other things change. So if this was the first time you heard about Home Assistant and you're interested in building your own smart home with Home Assistant, then I'm actually going through rebuilding my home smart home. And I'm gonna do that and I'm creating a whole video course dedicated to that. So if you're interested in that, you can check it out at courses.leonardosmarthomemakers.com but also I've got a plenty of videos on YouTube that can inspire you with project ideas and I'm gonna link a few here somewhere over here and you can continue watching on YouTube. Stay safe, like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. See you guys.